Okay. This is a fairly large case. It is also extremely dusty. I don't know why I just touched this without putting gloves on first. Um, it, it's the worst that I've yet to clean. And I guess it's a good thing for all of you. It's gonna be more or less a good thing to see the transition to be hopefully a satisfying process watching this one play out. But uh, I can tell you from my end, I'm not really looking forward to this one. Um, it's, it's bad. But uh, I'm grateful to the person who allowed us to uh, just have this for a few days. You know, I know it's not easy seeing your system like leave your house for a while, especially if you're using it uh, to play games and the like. But um, thanks to, to Lauren for giving me this system for a few days. We're gonna clean it up. We're also gonna upgrade a few things. Uh, so I've already actually run by what I'm going to upgrade with this person. So we're gonna upgrade the case and we're going to upgrade the cooler. Uh, and those are both courtesy of Corsair. So 5000D Airflow in white and an H150i in white as well. Both of those from Corsair. Again, thanks to them for sponsoring those parts for this video. Um, we are go for launch. Stay tuned. Team Group's MP33 NVMe SSDs are ready for your next PC build or upgrade with significantly faster reads and writes than traditional SATA drives. Find capacities up to two terabytes with competitive prices and five-year extended warranties attached. And perhaps best of all, they're super easy to install. Learn more by clicking the sponsor link below. Now I wanna quickly again run through the tools I use to clean PCs. This has been slowly evolving over the course of, of what the three videos that we've done so far. Um, the first one, this is something I invested in the second video, comes in super handy. Electric duster. This thing's powerful. It's got interchangeable nozzles. So this one has bristles on it and that's good for cleaning not only boards, uh, but also in between like heat sinks, like fin stacks and stuff, getting the dust out of those fins. Uh, this comes in very handy. It's linked below. Uh, I also have uh, a knockoff iFixit toolkit. A lot of small screws and things here, uh, screw heads. Uh, hex heads, Allen keys, all that stuff. Uh, you can get some pry tools in here. So if you guys wanna check out this, uh, I guarantee you it's gonna be cheaper than a comparable iFixit kit. Uh, although the iFixit kit I'm sure is higher quality than this. I'm just not interested in spending $100 for something like that. Uh, Q-tips, precision Q-tips specifically, these are gonna come in handy for cleaning those small nooks and crannies, especially on boards. So like capacitors and resistors and all those different things on boards that are um, protruding from the board itself, but that will collect dust in between. Um, these will come in handy for that. And we also like to dip these in 99% medical grade isopropyl alcohol. That's important. You don't want anything lower than that. You can go as low as 90%, but I wouldn't go as low as 70% if I could help it, just because you might have some impurities in there that won't um, properly dissolve over time, or they'll just stay stuck on the board, could potentially damage whatever thing you were cleaning uh, with that isopropyl alcohol. So um, all those things are linked below. I also got some shop towels just to kind of clean things as I'm going, especially the tools. I think we're ready to go. This one's gonna be rough. So everything is out of the system and we're gonna start tearing things down to bare PCB uh, to, to get a, a very thorough cleaning with a lot of these components that definitely need it. Uh, we'll start first as usual with the graphics card. Now this is a GeForce GTX 1080 for the win from EVGA. And from the top, let me get my head out of the shot so that it focuses. From the top, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's kind of dirty, but it's not, it's not awful. But you can see where a lot of that dust is caked up is on the pack plate. And I imagine some of that is also seeped down into the fin stack. Then we'll move on to the motherboard, CPU, cooler, and RAM because these, I'm, I'm just gonna show you. <laughs> I'm gonna hold it this way. Um, this cooler is disgusting. I don't know how else to say it. Uh, sorry, Lauren, it's just, it's, it's, it's god awful. Uh, but it's gonna be clean, that's the whole point. Um, and then we also have these two storage drives. So one's a hard disk drive. I'll show you the hard drive first. This one's caked in dust, but these are pretty easy to clean, just the exteriors, because they're, they're closed off. Uh, same with that Samsung drive. Let's see, I, uh, yeah, it's just caked in dust. 
Um, so we'll clean those. He also has a CD drive, an optical drive, but we're probably not gonna be able to get that into the new case. So I'll just give this to him uh, off to the side. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's even using it anymore. But uh, yeah, we'll get started with the graphics card first. It's gonna be bad. fully disassembled, fully cleaned system, waiting for reassembly, but we've got a few upgrades to take care of first. So we are not gonna need this. We're not gonna need any of this. And we're not gonna need that nasty old case from earlier. So we've got an EVGA 1000 watt P2 power supply. This comes with cable mod custom sleeved white cables with white metal cable combs. They look so good. We have the Corsair 5000D Airflow, which I mean, come on, do I really need to say much more about this case? It is beautifully constructed. There is so much hardware support uh, baked into this thing, and it's beautiful in white with gray accents. And to top things off, we've got the IQH150i Elite Capellix. Both of these things sent by Corsair, actually, they, they overnighted this to me for this very project here. So uh, big thanks to them for supporting this build here for this viewer. Um, this system's gonna look awesome when we put it together. Let's get started.
right, and here is the system. Turned out very nice. Now, obviously this motherboard, it's a bit of a, I don't wanna say an eyesore, but it does stick out. It doesn't really blend well with the white case, the white AIO, the white cables. Um, in fact, the only two things that aren't really white in here that you can see very obviously are the motherboard. Of course, the RAM's gonna be lumped into that uh, and the graphics card. So this is more like me trying to future-proof him for whenever he upgrades. And he did mention when we met uh, that he you know, was, was kind of holding back on upgrading because he really can't get a hold of any parts to upgrade with. Um, so this will more or less kind of set him up for that. He doesn't need to get a white motherboard for this to look good, um, but uh, he's got you know a premium case, a premium AIO, and uh, all he needs now is a new platform. Heck, that 1080 will probably last him a bit longer if he's still gaming in 1080p at this point. And, uh, and then he'll be all set. So for those who are confused by looking at this thinking, Greg, why on earth did you pair all of this stuff with this motherboard CPU RAM combo? It just doesn't really make sense. I'm, I'm just setting him up. I just wanted to give him something different, something fresh, something uh, clean. That's the keyword there, clean. Uh, for his future upgrades. And by the way, whenever I rebuild these, I like to check to make sure things post. I don't want to give a, a customer a system that doesn't post, it doesn't turn on. Um, so everything looks good. We're pretty much at the uh, Windows splash page for, for logging in. I don't need to log in. We didn't swap graphics cards or CPUs or anything, so I don't need to reinstall drivers. Uh, but this person will need to uh, install Corsair IQ in order to control the RGB fans as well as the RGB AIO. By the way, tempered glass side panel with white trim looking really clean, matching this white chassis, but still have the plastic on here. That is not mine to remove. The owner of the system should have the right to peel this off. It's such a satisfying thing. Kind of symbolizes a fresh new build. And in essence, it is a new build. I mean, it has a new identity. It looks totally different apart from primary specifications, which are kind of buried under all of this white aesthetic. So all in, I say this system turned out quite nice. It is definitely clean now. I think this person's going to be relieved that there is no more dust or hardly any dust, at least no dust that I can see. This is a chance for me to kind of give back to, to the local community, local viewers uh, who are more or less stuck on, on their current hardware. Like they can't upgrade because I mean, there's nothing available. Um, and so those systems often just kind of sit in excess of, of two or three years. And if they're not cleaning them every six months, we'll just be honest, most people probably aren't, um, they collect dust. Uh, so while you're waiting, I'll step in and try to clean it up for you. Uh, and if I can, where available, I'll try to upgrade something that I think needs to be upgraded. I can't always do that, I can't always guarantee that. So please don't send an email um, expecting to have like a full system upgrade. It's just, it's just not feasible. But if you do live in the Orlando, Florida area and are willing to lend me your PC for a few days, uh, assuming it's dirty, it needs to be dirty. If it's not at least somewhat as dirty as what this was to begin with, um, don't bother. We're gonna ignore it or my wife will send you a, a, a snarky email back. Um, it's just not, it's just not worth it. And it honestly takes up more of our time away from people who genuinely need their systems clean. So um, please reserve this email for genuine genuine inquiries about cleanings. Um, if your system is super dusty, maybe it's a black case, but it looks brown because there's so much dust everywhere, um, that could possibly work. And if you live anywhere near Orlando, or you're willing to drive to Orlando and then pick up your system a few days later, um, then you'd be the perfect candidate. So uh, send my wife the email, she would appreciate that. And we'll catch you in the next episode. I'm trying to find uglier and uglier, dirtier and dirtier systems and um, actually been going fairly well so far. I think this is the dirtiest uh, that I've had to clean so far. Pretty disgusting. I had to leave my windows open overnight and kind of flush out this entire room. There's just dust floating everywhere. My personal system is dusty now because of all the dust that I had to remove from this. So maybe the next one I need to like take outside and thoroughly dust the crap out of that before I bring it back in. But uh, I don't know. It's, it's kind of fun to see it all just get super dirty and then super clean again in here. Um, again, it's like therapy for me. So uh, it's it's quid pro quo. Yes, you're getting a free PC cleaning out of it, um, but I'm also able to make content and I'm also able to kind of satisfy my, my OCD, if you will, um, when it comes to, to cleaning systems. So uh, thank you to the three of you who have entrusted me with your system so far, and I'm excited to clean more in the future. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Also, subscribe if you haven't already. We're gonna be doing more of these videos. I know we've got a lot of new subscribers who saw the first uh, and the second episodes, and and, and mo for the most part, love those. Um, the exception is usually the music, but I, I can't please everybody with the music. Um, there will be more of these coming. So if you want to see more of them, subscribe. That would be appreciated as well. With that, uh, you can find my cleaning equipment down below. And stay tuned for the next one. My name is Greg. Thanks for cleaning with me.